Hi, Missy Kay here, and today I am going to review The School for Good and Evil, which was basically extremely adorable. The story is basically that there are these, there's this village where two kids um, are taken every year by some unseen, unknown entity, and they get taken to the School for Good and Evil. And one of them gets trained to be a fairy tale hero or heroine, and one of them ends up as a villain. And so this school has two sides, the good side and the evil side. And so there's beautiful, blonde, lovely uh, Sophie, and there is dark, sort of depressed, sort of uh, gloomy... Um, Agatha. And they both get taken and they end up at the school but in the opposite of the houses that they both assumed that they would be in. So Agatha gets sent to the, the good side and Sophie gets sent to the evil side. And it's pretty amusing. It kind of goes back and forth. There, um, Agatha just wants to get home and Sophie wants to get into the good side of the school because she is convinced that's where she belongs, and she also wants to have a happy ending with a prince. I mean, naturally. And it is a lot of fun, and I, I really liked reading it. I was a little bit unconvinced by the ending, because honestly, Agatha is clearly, to the reader, she is clearly good the whole time. She is selfless and she is kind, you know, just because she is not as pretty as, as Sophie, because she's not uh, cheerful and bright like Sophie is at the beginning. Um, she's, she clearly belongs in the good side of the school or whatever. She, she's good. And she's very, very helpful. And Sophie kind of treats her like garbage. And the narrative never really questions that a whole lot. I mean, it kind of does, but then it goes back on it. And I, I just wish that, you know, she would... I, I wish that we would have had more of just a happy ending for Agatha and not for Sophie because Sophie is kind of a terrible little girl. But it was a lot of fun and I really liked it.